and away uh, they go. Counters of the Stars drops off shortly after the start. Winning Grace began well with Keenan Kelly up on the outside in the black sleeves and cap and showing pace. Then came Sea of Tears. Nairobi races in fourth at the rail. The pink and white stripes then Hats Miracle one off the fence in the red cap. Five or six off the leader. My True Love is three wide on the outside of that. Then came Kamaria in the all-white colours, seven lengths off the leader. Azimuth is behind that and racing at the end of the field is Countess of the Stars. 900 metres left to go and Keenan Kelly's in front from Sea of Tears and My True Love has come right up there towards the outside. Then came Nairobi. Further back in the field is winning. Grace has got six lengths to make up. Hats Miracle, Counters of the Stars. Then came Kamari and Azimuth is behind that. 600 metres from the judge. Now My True Love has come forward and taken over the lead. Sea of Tears is down the inside. Then comes Nairobi. Five off the leader. Further back in the field is Keenan Kelly then comes winning Grace past the 400 metre mark. In front is Sea of Tears. Picked it up and gone a length clear of My True Love. Winning Grace is behind that. Then comes Nairobi further back in the field but it's Sea of Tears in front from My True Love. Then comes winning Grace but Sea of Tears holds a three length advantage into the closing stages and Sea of Tears has won it. Second My True Love. Winning Grace third. Hats Miracle fourth. Welcome back to Fairview and Sea of Tears finally gets it right at who knows how many opportunities this had. Got it right this afternoon, nine seconds in her career, but she wins today. Well done to Kelly Mitchley and everybody concerned. With me is Doc. He's collecting the 1,500 Rand for Albert. He is the winning groom as well of the winner. So Doc, please tell him very well done. Oh, Here we go. Thank you. Let's go to Prentice Lahaba. He's coming into the winner's box, and I thought a really good run. I checked Richard was watching you. He moved up onto your hindquarters, and you changed stick nicely. You gave a nice little smack. I thought you were well balanced throughout, James. Very well done to you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, I'd like to say a big thanks to Mrs. Mitchley for giving me the opportunity. Also, uh, congratulations to the owners, and happy birthday to Mr. Kyle. This is his birthday today. All right, you're loving what you do. Eh? I can see it in your body language when you walk into the parade. You really love being a jockey. Yes, I grew up riding uh, on a bush racing, so it's a thing that I like. It's in your blood by now. <laughs> yes. All right, well, it's taken a very long time for Sea of Tears to win. You finally got it right. Anything else on the day that you think that you've ridden before that you give, give a bit of a chance to? Yes, I like the horse I'm riding for Mr. Smith and... Pinnacle. Yes. Yeah, but my only concern is it's over 1,200 metres, not over 14. So I think it's going to run a good race. Okay, good race. Well, it's lovely having you here. Well done to you. Thank you very much. Also, big thanks to the Academy and the Riding Masters. Well, they're doing a great job with you. So well done. Apprentice La Harbour. Let's go to a lady that's no longer apprentice. She's had many years of being apprentice to other people. Kelly, back in the winner's box this afternoon. Sea of Tears gets it right. And I'm sure you're all going, wow. But is there more to come from Sea of Tears? She's getting better and better by day at the stables. Okay. She had a little hiccup before the start, while saddling. She was almost scratched, <laughs> okay. which is not something anybody wants to hear, that she went almost scratched before the start. But luckily she warmed up and she got better going down to the start and she won a very nice race and a lovely ride from Liaba, well timed from the wide draw. And yeah, no, I just want to say happy birthday to Kyle. Um, big big part of the yard. He's gone down to saddle. He's run away, yeah. <laughs> He's not a fan of being on TV. Okay. And thank you to my sponsors, um, Betway South Africa, and to me, and our assistant. All right, tremendous. Now, I'm just going to narrow it down to two runners. We're going to hand this over to you now. Oh, sorry, a huge well done to, to, St to Steve and Louis. They've come to my yard and for CFT is running three thirds and a, and a win now for them, being the fourth start in my stable. All right. And so huge congratulations to them. Okay, and then before you get the extra check for them quickly, I just want to touch on Smorgasbord and Silvery Blue, two runners that you give a winning chance to today. Silvery Blue, she's been working very well at home. This is her third run after a rest, 1600, which she did win over. And I think if she settles in the race, she'll be a big contender in the race and be very competitive. Smorgasbord, he hasn't been in this merit rating for quite a while. He's dropped down in class. And I think he'll be a runner. 
All right, now let's get that extra check coming your way from the Racehorse Owners Association membership, a full one. So that's an additional 15,000. Thanks to Mr. Passerini doing duties there this afternoon. Kelly, well done to you. Thank you so much, and thank you to Mr. Passerini. All right, tremendous in the winner's box. And that's the Kelly Mitchley stable. They might be back here a little bit later, a little bit of confidence coming through. I agree, smorgasbord in the last, I think, is a massive, massive runner this afternoon. That's race two, the first leg of the place accumulator. We'll be back for the first leg of the pick six. Make sure that you become part of the play.